apparently. Hello. Hello, hello, hello to the great people of the internet. How are we feeling? There's people here. Hi, Kim. Hey, Karaoke Buzz. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Lo. Hi, Penny. Hi, Kim again. Hi, Karaoke Buzz. I think that's all we got. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. I actually totally forgot it's 420, and then I saw Jake had a tweet earlier that was uh, saying, hey, I can finally enjoy 420 now for the first time. I live in such a, such a, <laughs> such a, I don't even know. I don't like go on the internet or oftentimes I don't know what day it is. Oh, I don't know where this thing is. So I didn't even know. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Tara Gee. Hey, Jordan. Hi, Cat. Hi, Fire Soul Rocker. Hi, Leo. Hi, Guan. Guat, guat, guatoni tube, guatoni tube. What, what? Wow, that's a rough one. Guatoni tube. I gotta figure out what to do with this tea. I actually have kind. Hey, Dandy, how's it going? I actually have a plan. Well, kind of, sort of, a little bit of a plan. Yes, Ryan, did you want to join me? You're more than welcome to. Hi, altered goat. See, I just this is this is the whole stream. You guys just say hi, and I just keep saying hi over and over again until we're all perished and famished. I got some food. I'll try and make sure my uh, mic is muted while I'm crunching and chowing down. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. But yeah, I do have a plan. There was some funny things that happened this week. I would have to say. Maybe they weren't all that funny, but quite enlightening. And what do you do for work while the industry? Hey, Jordan, thank you for the $2. Uh, I talk on the internet uh, for, for work, and you give me $2, and therefore I can buy a, a salad. Well, I actually made the salad. I didn't buy the salad, but that was kind of the... Can we say hi to the cat? Yes, Kim, you can absolutely say hi to ZZ. I forgot he's not on screen. So when I'm working or editing or whatever's going on, he likes to sit closer to the window. Thanks again, Jordan. Um, let me just do a little reconfiguration here. A little reconfiguration. He's here. Don't worry. Everyone freaks out. Hi, Apostacate. Hi, Darth Magog. Hi, Jesse. <clears throat> Boom. ZZ is alive. He's doing well. I know whenever I have the lights set up like this, you can't really see him, but I can see my screens, which makes life significantly better than not being able. Don't look at my ugly nails. Uh, I know they're really, really ratchet right now, but you know what? Maybe we'll do a, a, a paint, nail painting stream. Look at what you do, Kim. Uh, yeah, shout outs to Kim. You are a pioneer and a and an inspiration. It's always so weird because I can't hear myself, but I'm not sure if I want to hear myself. Oh yeah, music. We need some background vibe music. Bum ba dum bum bum brand. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're just getting started here. Mm. Everyone, let me know if the music is too loud or too uh, too quiet. Hey, Douglas Macy. I don't know if I said, is that Memorial wine? Yes, it is the stale leftover vinegar tasting Memorial wine that I had uh, when we were doing the Memorial stream. So I thought I would kill off the end of the bottle. But thankfully, now that Jordan has graciously donated $2, I can get myself a beer. So I could, I could even get really wacky and wild. So what do you think of that? Anyway, yeah. Um, hey, oh, I, I didn't actually think of a name because last time you were Mixie Spitlick. <laughs> Sig, um, uh, S -S -S Sig Dubstep, the Sig Dubstep. That, that's the one. Sig Dubstep, throwing a handsome vibe today, son. Thank you so much, King of Dots. What el What's up? A local elder was just on TV. One of two twin elders. I'm still not sure if it was Dan or Tom or any. Well, I don't know what that means. Yeah, so um, I thought it would be kind of interesting to, yeah, Wally is looking slick. Thank you. Uh, to talk about words 
and their meanings and their usages because I kind of thought that most of us are adults here and um, so what are we going to discuss? That, that's what I'm getting into right now. Um, I thought it would be cool to do a stream where I can run at least my thoughts on certain things and you guys can give me feedback and make sure that I'm not being a lunatic or thinking crazy things. Hi, a human. Hi, Leo Yokatan. I always admire your decor. I love the monochromatic sapia tones. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They match ZZ. So he's, he's the one that really uh, picks everything out. Hey, Merritt Reynolds. Yeah, but I thought I have just was bombarded a couple days ago uh, with just these blatant, obvious examples of, of people using language in a way that you can't understand. And it just was so reminiscent of what I experienced with that moment that I woke up from my watchtower indoctrination. And I just thought, holy crap, I want to do a video on this. But I thought I would hang out, do a live stream and talk about it with you guys. That way I can work through my thoughts, get your thoughts, all of that good stuff hello everyone and hello jenny darlin jenny darlin so that was kind of my my thought process but mostly i wanted to just kind of talk about like language because you know me i'm not the person that's doing the specifics i don't like bashing i don't like people bashing i think everyone deserves well maybe not everyone but i think most people deserve a fairly honest treatment where you can actually talk about ideas and a free exchange of ideas and i understand like some people can act in a certain way where you're like okay you're you're uh what was the old expression your invitation is no longer no longer legitimate i can't remember what we used to say at at the meetings but um i don't think i brought a fork for my salad and then let me just check my phone real quick i didn't hear is the music good or is it not so good do can you look up my video during your stream usually my comments get lost are you here <clears throat> do, do. your implied invitation has been revoked coming in clutch <laughs> is the fork for your drink no it is for my feta and olive and onion and tomato with some zest of a lemon salad. Hey, Falling Tower, how's it going? Big guy. Anyway, so that's kind of the plan. And then also, there was some really super, I think it's balanced on volume music, maybe 5% too loud. Let the 5% gang rise up and tell me that it is warm regards from Southwest Florida. Uh, not warm regards here because it is raining. I just got done walking dog and it started raining on me. Anyway, let me go grab my fork and maybe Ryan can actually answer me once and for all. Did you want to come on and and chat it up? Or are you just going to gonna hang out and enjoy your 420 day in, in lovely solitude? Everyone deserves to relax. Anyway, give me like two seconds. Not too shabby, just working and listening to all you guys. Helps the day go by a bit quicker. Well, thank you for coming and hanging out. Always appreciate it. And I'm sorry that you have to listen to my stupid sounding voice. I did adjust some things on my microphone, so if I'm too quiet, also let me know about that. But I do actually need to go get a fork, so give me one second. I'll be right back. We're 11 minutes into the stream, and I've already, already left. So that's pretty cool. A low pulsating beat reminiscent of a ticking time bomb. Yes, that's pretty much how the streams go. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to do this. Do...
See, we always gain viewers when I leave. And then as soon as I come back, everyone's like, oh boy, I thought this was the cat stream. Turn off the light. Whoa, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway. First off, does everyone know what I am referring to? Every, I'm assuming everyone's up to speed and all that stuff, just because it might seem out of context. But the lessons still remain exactly the same. Weed puns are dope. That is actually the funniest pun I've heard all day. <laughs> Good job. Only here for ZZ. Hi, Cassius, and I'm here for ZZ, too. We're all in this together. DY. Yeah, I forgot as well. I forgot as well, but, you know, I'm not a huge weed smoker. It's not really my, my jam. I am not up to speed. I just got here. Um, our favorite XJW YouTuber uh, decided to do another podcast stream. And he uh, it was using words that were very confusing to my ears. I, uh, words don't have, hi, Shark Composer. Uh, I guess we'll just get right into it. Words, 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 words. Words don't have intrinsic, like, meanings. They have usages. I don't think that that needs to be said, but... I think maybe sometimes we get a little bit lost in everything, but when words have usages that are common, they're, they're common for that very reason. That if I call something blue, you can immediately picture. I mean, obviously, if you're colorblind or, you know, never seen the color blue, but we're not talking, we're not getting into deep philosophy here, okay? It's a quick, a quick little cozy stream. Anyway, I think that when people use words that are outside of the normal spectrum of no normal usage that we're all very familiar with, then you need, or you should at least be slightly responsible and define what you mean by something. So I'm just going to take one and that'll be the last uh, specific of, uh, of the day, but uh, dating. For instance, if I'm using the word, oh, I'm dating someone, what is that going to imply? If I'm using that word, it's most likely for all of you is going to mean I'm pursue pursuing a, a another person. And there's an understanding that we're looking for a furthered relationship over time. If I'm using the word dating... When I'm on vacation, that makes no damn sense. You're not dating someone. We ha And we have other words to describe this. We have hooking up. We have fling. Oh, you guys get what I mean, right? <clears throat> I guess I can actually listen so I know exactly how long the latency is. Doesn't actually look like it's too bad. Mini mini tickle parson, yes. Time, time, and a half a time, or whatever that was. Can a phone call be a date? Is it a regular phone call? Do you guys? I I dated my ex-wife, and it was over Skype. So yeah, a phone call, a Skype call, all of those different things could absolutely be, you know, referred to as dating, which. Again, if you're using that word, makes me curious that you've never met a person before. Because you don't, in, in three weeks, you don't use a word, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, some people would, but that's with the active pursuit. Not with the knowledge that you are immediately just going to be going home and, and going back to your wife who you're separated from. And then that brings up that. Well, what do you mean by separated? What what do these words mean? Have I kissed something? Who did a video about words? Huh? If you are dating a... You wouldn't... Um, 
Yeah, I agree with uh, this. Sorry, I'm like filtering. You just, you simply wouldn't. <laughs> uh, seems pretty straightforward, right? People used to date via snail mail. Yeah, that's absolutely, absolutely true. But what, what needs to happen though, if someone's using these asymmetric usages of words, what absolutely needs to be happened, just tell me what you're talking about. Because these things make no sense in my mind. And I was like, so I, I'm left then. And if, if you want rumors to stop and you're using this type of language, you are absolutely going to get people that try and fill in the blanks. You're using asymmetric, nonsensical language. People are going to be like, oh no, what you meant is this. Oh no, what you meant is this. Speak up for your damn self. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and say it with your damn chest. Like, stop. Like, stop all of the spinning in these rhetorical circles that are just, in my mind, meant to confuse people. So anyway, with that little weird rant out of the way, I'm going to look at this. First time the mention of separation. I don't believe. I couldn't comment. You even know that. X, I thought you were still married. Hmm, that explanation why you can spend so much time in this virtual world. Well, you know what? I get to hang out with you lovely folks, so that's great. You missed it? How did, how, 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 how? Were you, did you, were you hitting the bottle too hard that day? Come on now, you gotta get with the times. <clears throat> ah, I think it just clicked what this is about. Um, yeah. I, I think, I don't usually mince my words too much. I don't like to be mean or bully people, but two cents doesn't count as, <laughs> oh my goodness. Keep it civil, people. Keep it civil. We don't bash. We don't bash. But we do demand if someone's being a, a, go a goober, maybe we should demand that they uh, stop doing their goobering. But anyway, it really reminded me of something that was ever present in our lives. If I know some people watching were never witnesses, but if you were Jehovah's Witness, it was ubiquitous that people, or I mean, shouldn't say people, the leaders of the Watchtower would use expressions and terms that are merely meant to confuse you. And I was just trying to think of like what this whole event, why it was so, why I got so like emotionally invested in it. And it, I'm someone that likes to sit, sit back and think about something for a while and then maybe form a watery uh, opinion. Hi, Anne. How are you? <laughs> I like the meme. That's pretty funny. I haven't seen that. <laughs> now they're dating. And yeah, and that's how Watchtower uses that word dating as well. So they, they I'm going to make a video on this, but it'll be different than what you're uh, exactly thinking. But anyway, what was I talking about? Watchtower. Yeah, so I was like, why am I having this reaction to all of this going on? Like, it's, do, do I even care that much? And then it hit me. When the biggest exodus, I believe the biggest exodus of Jehovah's Witnesses was right around the time of the Austro Australian Royal Commission. I, is that fair? I mean, maybe 1975. Maybe when they flip the generation teaching. So someone correct me if I'm wrong. But in my mind, I think I held out for one's million ending pledges as long as I could. That reason it did me in. Uh, yeah, well, here you go. From right out of uh, someone's mouth. So there you have it. Straight away. Anyway, if the Australian Royal Commission, that was when of the biggest exodus, that was all surrounding, you know, the safeguarding of children. And their response to that was, I, I mean, we could go back and watch it, but I think you guys all remember it. Oh, we, we, we love our children. We care for them. We protect them. We haven't done anything wrong. These are malicious apostate lies. 
and I was working on editing a video today and that hit me like a brick. The correlation between what has happened in the XJW community and that moment where you're having someone that has a lot of followers and people that are keeping the, the watchtower afloat, they got called out publicly, finally, super public, and Watchtower's response to it was the thing that probably bothered so much of us, like the most, their response of apathy, their refusal to ever admit that they did anything wrong, and then go out and add on top of that and start lashing out, lashing out at the people that were bringing the, the 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 truth to light you know they they were just giving facts and truth and watchtower calls them evil lying disgusting apostates that you don't want anything to do with don't talk to them and i finally because that was right around when i was leaving and was the Australian Royal Commission and that whole episode. Well, I mean, it's still going on and people are still fighting the good fight. Um, which I probably could do a little bit more on that. The organization isn't very good at accepting counsel. They need to work on that. I know for all the counsel that they give, you would honestly think that they wouldn't be so horrible at just being able to take a little bit of criticism. Like this video, the governing body will send elders to knock on your door. <laughs> Cultastic, Ryan, she said it, like the video, you're going to have, <laughs> if it's a success, it's, or, if it's a, the success organization and Jehovah, if it's a failure, it's the individuals or apostates. And it's that lack of self-awareness and that, that similarity just really astonished me and blew me away. So I don't know if I'm not like thinking clearly, but. As far as I see it, it's that lack of just owning up. And even if Watchtower said, you know what, we're going to go, they're called out publicly. Hey, let's change our policies, apologize and figure out how we can make up for the wrong that we caused. If that was their response, then the criticism kind of just stops. But if you just keep going and just keep saying over and over again no i'm telling you guys i haven't done anything wrong and you oh see you later do i um and you just never never acknowledge anything or you just have a warped idea about what it what it means to have actions affect other human beings in the real world i mean that's a responsibility that every single human on planet earth absolutely needs to have and I don't know, is that where it's coming from? Is it just people that don't realize just how much their actions affect other people? Always too easy to explain away failures with blaming the individuals. Always too easy to explain away failures with blaming the individuals, not accepting that the structure, process, and policy encourage it. Precisely. And it's usually the critics aren't talking about the individual or the person. Usually the critics are talking about what was done, what the policies are, what let's the, let's judge the actions, not the words. <laughs> let, let us all rise up and know with watchtower with anyone. And I think it's something that unfortunately a lot of people in the XJW community Sort of have a carryover with it. Um, I didn't read this, so hopefully it's good. How ironic is it that the org tells its followers to take their advice and run without any questions, yet they can't take their own advice? Exactly. I, I don't understand, and it's one of the most infuriating things, especially if you're someone that's still having to be subjected to going to meetings and going out in service and putting on the facade. I feel horrible for you because I remember being in that position. I remember sitting there like, oh, God, I have to give a talk tonight or oh, I got to go 
you do some kingdom i gotta go edit audit the literature room god that'll take three hours and all of it's just a bunch of crap anyway and i just feel so bad for people that are in that position and they feel completely trapped and don't just stand up and be like this is or maybe for whatever reason they can't stand up and just say this is garbage and i'm ahead out of here now so i can't imagine ever stepping into a kingdom hall nowadays i can't either my man it that would just be horrible um a lot of carry over xjw's have even if fully aware of their organization's faults hard to shake decades of programming norms expectations and vocabulary yeah it is hard i mean how long did you guys say oh it's call it the truth <laughs> that usually takes a while to get to get out it's it's the truth for sure for sure i'm going to have some of my salad anyway douglas macy thank you so much for the five dollars douglas watchtower taught us to know double speak when we hear it they absolutely did and we, we need to be on the forefront of stopping this double speak because it's just nonsensical and it's harmful because actions have consequences and they affect other people innocent people and what type of salad is that wally i already said but i'll say it again it's lettuce onions tomato uh freshly ground black pepper some zest of a lemon the juice of said lemon and some olives and i grabbed the fork because i left to grab a fork so i'm sure there is a fork in here somewhere oh i already have it in my bowl i did grab a fork the first time wow that was that was crazy anyway i just acquired a taste for olives i thought they were pretty pretty funny so do you guys want to see a video that i found pretty interesting obviously i wouldn't show you guys if i didn't think it was at least kind of interesting forking yourself wallet yes do 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 um i thought it was kind of like silly and really it was really funny first off so like I mean, but the more I thought about it, it definitely wasn't <laughs> as funny because I'm like, oh, wait, there's a real, a real human being uh, behind this. I don't know what kind of olives, if I'm honest. I got them at Trader Joe's and that's about, that's about all I know. I would like to think the governing body are clueless, except I know Let gave a sermon against homosexuals right after his nephew killed himself. Wow. That is wild. Um, so this is something that I literally just uh, talked about. Well, I mean, I talked about it, but you guys haven't seen it yet. I was editing it today. Um, I kind of go into that exact same point because there are a, a fair amount of people that do think that they're just clueless to what they're doing. And I'm like, at, on some level, they must understand uh, that. Let me find this. Do, 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 do. I gotta go eat. We'll be back. See you later, Ryan. Um, let me see about this. I don't know if you guys have... Maybe some of you guys have already seen this. But I thought it was really, really weird and funny. Um, let me turn this music off real quick. there and then i guess i can do this and here we go um i think it should work like this let me see oh that's not what i wanted to do that's not what i wanted to do that what i wanted to do i guess this will work boom were you? Yes, Kiwi. Okay, 
Uh, let's watch this. It's really interesting. So if you guys can't hear it, just say something in chat. This is Christina. She fell in love with Mark. <laughs> so first, so first off, how goofy is it that they're all excited? You got the exciting music. This is Christina. And this, this source is Christina. Sack of garbage is Mark. <laughs> hey, Allison. She fell in love with <laughs> Mark. Mark. Despite being in love with Mark, Christina also found she had eyes for other men. I kept cheating so much and I just couldn't stop. When uh, I did find out it was very devastating, um, I was heartbroken to say the least about it. I, I, I started thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough for her. So just a quick little, just a quick little, yes, people are affected by this. And you can even see it on this guy's face. Like this guy's just like, yeah, I, I was I was pretty broken up, man. I, I had a lot of self doubts. I was, you know, struggling with it, thinking I'm not good enough. And and a, as this progresses, this is the type of behavior that I think is so dangerous. What the hell is this? I I watch weird stuff on YouTube, and this just came down the pipeline. But I think it really demonstrates. Like the actual dynamic when someone's a serial cheater and like the whole story is pretty, pretty silly and goofy because eventually I think they become swingers. Rather but than you'll let see. the cheating break the pair up, they decided to explore new experiences as a couple. I just said, let's try the swinging thing. But the pair found that their new relationship choices were not received well by friends and family. I said, oh, really? I said, oh, swinging. Yeah. The fam they found out on TikTok. So keep in mind, this is someone that's been cheating just nonstop. Couldn't couldn't stop cheating. Been cheating for years. So are they aware their relationship is unscriptural? True. <laughs> okay, anyway. Talk and what they did was go around to everybody else and talk about us behind our back. So bad of them to talk about you behind your back. Um, yeah, so we've been together for 17 years, um, and we've been married for 15 years. We did meet when we were younger in school. Um, I actually had a crush on her. I tried to touch her, she just totally dissed me. <laughs> so that just made me want her so much more. So that's how their relationship started. Hey, how's it going, Christina? Get the hell out of my face, you weirdo. <laughs> so that that was the basis of their entire relationship, but... It gets goofier. And then later on in our, you know, 21, 22, we ended up meeting at the bar and um, things just kind of went from there. Yeah, we are soulmates. We finish each other's sentences from like day one. You know, the pineapples everywhere. Yeah, so I've struggled with monogamy my whole life. Ever since I was a little girl and had boyfriends in grade school, I would have multiple boyfriends Ever since I was time. a little girl. What and the then hell? I cheated on him with like four guys. I was always open and honest about it. Um, and... <laughs> I, it's okay because I was open and honest about it. Hey, babe, how was work today? Cheated with cheated on you with four different guys. So uh, what's for dinner? <laughs> like poor Mark, and he clearly likes her. He's like, oh, I had a crush on her, and then it was years later that we finally got together, and it was cool. And this poor guy is just really falling for the wrong person. Just, just really, really not. And just monogamy is not natural for me. When I found out, um, it was very devastating for me because at that time, um, I could have been monogamous with her the rest of my life because I, I loved her like that. I was heartbroken, to say the least, about it because I, I, I started thinking, oh, maybe I'm not good enough for her. Oh, Ryan, you came in at the wrong time. The bacon? <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it was hard for him to accept that, like, that... I was only in love with him and only wanted to be with him forever, but yet wanting other man yeah. men. That was, that so was it tough. took a little while for you to like to really comprehend that. I'm just going to replay that one more time so you guys can really key in on the social dynamic that is happening right before our eyes. Mark is like trying to have a sentence and a thought, and she is telling him what he sh he he thought. This is no, no, this is what it was hard for you, wasn't it? I, I'll let me just replay it a little bit. 
him forever, but yet right. wanting other man yeah. men. That was, that so it was took tough. a little while for you to like to really get, comprehend that. It was it was tough at first, but now I get it, and I'm totally on board, and I love it now. <laughs> he doesn't so we got seem into like swinging. It. About two years ago is when we started couple swapping. Yeah, Paul Amory We've been swinging and cheating up with are all completely our whole relationship, though. Uh, so things. a unicorn is a single female that hooks up with couples, and we don't have relate. Anyway, we don't have to keep watching this, but I just felt so bad for this poor guy because he clearly is like really, really, really into his wife, and you know I'm not like the 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 Dalai Lama of relationship. <laughs> so I'm I'm the last person. <laughs> Mark went out like a chump. <laughs> oh, poor Mark. I just felt really bad for Mark. But anyway, what a freaking piece of play to I know. And he, but I, I I only wanted to play that because I think it's just like a little window, a little goofy, silly window. Hopefully it kind of put a smirk or a smile on your face as well. But it's like a little window into what a manipulative person and their their partner look like and you know at least we get to see mark here and he's like oh now i love it because she told me that i like it you're going to like swinging mark 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 and remember i only i only care about you i just want to sleep with every guy that i meet in a bar a window into the soul of mark poor mark it's really rough Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, salad break. That was probably pretty gross. I should do that off screen. Never apologize for a... I am the only one thinking of Will and Jada. That red table discussion is even harder to watch than this. That's actually true. <laughs> the uh... <laughs> no, I thought it was kind of kind of weird, but I like weird stuff. So I was screaming internally the whole time. <laughs> well, I guess it saved your vocal cords to only scream internally. So, so you know that is good and better than before <laughs> yeah i don't it's not that complicated like some people can do whatever they want it's fine but you need to have some communication with your partner you can't just come home and be like hey babe got to be honest with you cheated on you again fourth time this month like i don't i don't get it I actually watched a few of your uh, your videos, Darth. I got a kick out of your your getup. Someone commented on one of mine too. They were like, "Oh, you're Darth Magog," which I thought that would be amazing if I could type in chat and no one even knew. Like, that'd be kind of wild. Mm -hmm. He's a good-looking guy and all, but he's not the Hollywood guy. <laughs> hey, Bun, what's going on? What show is this? Uh, this is, I don't know. It's on a site called Truly. They have some really wacky, silly. Everyone thinks I'm you, Wally. Really? <laughs> is that for real? That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, someone texted me earlier and said, hey, check this thing out. But I never got. Jada is still hung up. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, you absolutely need to see all of this. It's it's fantastic. Have we ever seen Darth and Wally in the same room? That's an actual really good question. Anyway, mm -mm -mm -mm. I could keep rambling and ran Oh, yeah, I guess we will get back to our word speech. But uh, I wanted to take a, a little bit of a eating break because I've only had a singular piece of toast today. And uh, that's not quite enough sustenance. I like watching the view count just completely based off of what I'm doing. <laughs> hey. 
That's cool. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> I wish I was you, bro. You're awesome. Dream higher, my man. Dream much, much higher. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a badass day, too. Getting that spiritual food in the form of a salad. Yeah, you got to do what you can, when you can, and how you can. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I was thinking of, hey, Wally, I'm loving the nail colors. Thank you, the bewitched one. I need to repaint them. We'll have to do a nail painting stream, but. I'll try and get other people on here so that way uh, it's not just me sitting at my desk as the as the entire concept of the stream. <clears throat> but anyway, do you guys think that would be a good uh, a video idea? Just trying to break down like why it's dangerous to have these this language that is just so blatantly wrong, just so completely baffling to the normal person, and then insist that that is the that is the correct thing, even when you're told, like, even when you're told, like Watchtower, with the example I gave earlier at the Royal Commission, there's all of this evidence, they're there for days, they're reviewing it, they even get a governing body member there, and it's it's obvious there is a problem like th there's just an overwhelming voice of people saying this is a problem and yet they just stick their fingers in their ears and i i don't get it and it might not be sticking the fingers in the ear maybe it's intentional my wife painted my tie nail Well, the O and the I are next to each other on the keyboard. Everyone that looked at my eyes, like actually making sure that the O and the I. <laughs> I'd love a takedown of the JW language. Language and how it affects the way we form our thoughts is super interesting. Yeah, I, I've i been uh, reading up on that the last uh, bit. Eight days to be exact. And the commissioner even wanted to jump the bench and punch some witnesses, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, they would have just been absolutely clawing their their faces off dealing with what frankly is childish behavior. Really childish. Wally, would you pretty please not talk while chewing? Yes, I will stop doing that. I'm sorry. I was just quite hungry and didn't want everyone to be terribly bored, but it is very gross and I'm sorry. I was trying to maybe cover over on the microphone, but I'm sorry, Daniel. I've offended someone today, but that's par for the course, I suppose. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wait, I got to mute. Muting this time. Spartan Warrior. Hey, thanks for coming and saying hello. Anyone else here better call Saul fans. Jose Valdez. Hey, I haven't seen you in a minute. You, well, you've probably been around. How's it going? Well, I said it was that string hanging. Should we be scared for ZZ? Oh, that's his little, uh, that's where I put his toys. You've probably seen that. So then uh, if he's ever like standing up or bored or there's no squirrels or birds in the bird feeder, then uh, he gets to like bop it around and stuff. It's in the intro. But anyway, that's what the string is. Okay, um, <laughs> do, 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 do. it was a cat noose. What kind of sick person are you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, holistic hottie, how's it going? <laughs> I have huh, misophonia, miso, miso. Crunchy friends in a land of broth. Kuthan, Kuthan. If anyone knows what that's from, I'll I'll give you a hug. <laughs> I'll give you a hug. Okay. Um, you are the best. I am the best. Thank you very much for calling me the best. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, I need to eat like just a little bit of something, but it's all good. I'm gonna I'm gonna entertain you regardless.
We must protect ZZ at all costs. That's true. He is an important member of the team. So we should probably. What is this? Uh oh. I think. Uh oh. The computer might have crashed. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no. I think we might be looking good. I didn't vet any of these. Was it that one? No. God. I think Zizi is the producer. Just eat and we can entertain ourselves for a minute. Yeah, that's true. That's entirely possible. But I watched the funniest thing the other day and I thought, well, why not? Sure, why not? Ryan should come on as a guest host. Anyone's welcome, man. Red Bull gives you wings. Oh, is that audio on there? Whoops. Hey, thank you, Daniel, for the... I'll follow you, King of Dots. Okay, this is going to be my savior. <clears throat> this is going to save the day. I've saved the day. Okay, you guys have to be... Haha, that's true, Douglas. Okay, it's a game. Okay, you can't laugh. So you have to sit here stone cold and think nothing is funny. So it's the opposite of content, but it's entertaining. I'm terrible at these sorts of things, so I'm going to mute my microphone. Count how many times you laugh and how many times I laugh, and uh, we'll see who wins. Oh, whoops. Just to keep balls out of the goal, especially when he's just gone to all the effort of saving one. Now, I'm not sure how this French goalkeeper forgot to let go of the ball, but it was a disaster for him. It actually looks like he thinks he saved it at the last second, but that was wishful thinking. It was definitely an own goal. In sports, it's always wise to keep certain people on your side, like the people who have the power to determine your score. For example, you should definitely never hit the chair umpire in the face with a ball in the middle of a tennis match. It was definitely an accident, and everyone rushed to the 17-year-old's defense, but it sure cost him. Before being taken to the hospital, the umpire declared a default, sending his opponents to the semifinals. You can't on the right laugh, side, at least you he didn't laugh. hit the ball boy who was standing under the umpire's chair and was so quick to duck. There are mistakes, and then there are moments like this. Johan Zarco was on course to take 7th place at this MotoGP race when an unexpected nightmare occurred. He ran out of fuel. How does that happen at a professional event like this? I have no idea. But he's a true sportsman and decided to just run his Yamaha over the finish line and watch as people who had crashed earlier in the race managed to pass him. He looked completely exhausted by the end, but at least he got a point. A single, solitary point. If there's one surefire way to stop your opponents from really fighting, it's pulling cruel tricks like this. Jonathan Villar probably would have gotten to second base, but Brandon Phillips wasn't going to let that happen. He saw the play Villar was going for and decided to embarrass him by forcing him to slide face first into his butt. To add insult to injury, as if there wasn't enough of that already, Villar was also called out on the play. But they probably didn't need to because he'll definitely think twice before he tries that again and gives the whole world a view of his nose squished up against another man's butt. Oh. The first day of practice in F1 is all about calmly checking that everything's in oh order and every part of your car is working properly. And this is why that's necessary. Before you ask, no, the car didn't hit anything except maybe a bug, but probably not even that. Turns out they were trialing a new suspension component on this yeah, car. Now, I don't know funny. much about vehicles, but I'm willing to say I'm pretty sure it didn't work. He probably would have preferred to find that out at a slightly slower speed than 180 miles per hour, but there were no injuries, so who can complain? Celebrating a goal is absolutely fine. You deserve it. Have fun. Although you might want to check first that your goal was actually a goal. Karim Balut was offside when he got the ball into the net, but he never stopped running so to play find a lot that of, out. He just played kept a lot going, of soccer, cheering and, and jumping up and down all by himself and hugging the spectators. Someone who, jumping I in the guess, crowd were when they were him. offside. He came back down to earth pretty it quickly once he realized comedy. he'd been celebrating nothing, though. Yeah, Karim, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I was me clearing Always my throat again. Always expect the unexpected when you're in sports. But still, <laughs> nobody could have seen this coming. That almost they? made me this laugh. This university runner was all set to win this 800-meter race when the pole vaulter next to the track made a mistake. Imagine his confusion when one second what? he's winning and the next moment he's all tangled up like an animal in a net. The best part about this Why book is are the they doing that at the loving same... it and keeps insisting that Spider-Man had something to do with this strange event. Spider-Man chose something out wild. of him. Spider-Man attacked them. Well, Spider-Man Spider attacked no him. Spider-Man. They let the guy go to the finals. There are plenty of people out there that came last in every race on school athletics days that will sympathize with this runner. Sogolo Tuvalu wanted to compete in the shot put category in the IAAF, but he didn't qualify. So instead of just going home, he joined the 100 meter race. As you can see, it's not really his strength. And he achieved the slowest time in the history of sprinting, 15.66 seconds. Really it seems slow. like a terrible idea, but he became kind of a hero to the crowd who were cheering him on much more than the winner. That's a pretty wholesome Professional story, though. Football is one of the most difficult careers to get into. It's a highly competitive world, so you just know that everyone involved, even the linesmen and referees, are the best of the best. And that makes little errors like this so much more funny. It's not even like he wasn't looking. He saw where he was spraying that line and that's thought, yeah, just that's really right disrespectful. Where I wanted it and kept going. Those that's players don't look too impressed. The referee was probably lucky that's vanishing spray, or he might have gotten one of those shoes stuck somewhere unpleasant. There's dedication to your sport, and then there's serious dedication to your sport. This hurdle race saw a serious battle to the finish line by two runners from the Texas A&M team. Either teammate stood a chance of winning right up until the moment Ethan <laughs> Tucker decided to take off and fly over the finish line like Spider-Man. It's the pretty impressive, Mario, but unfortunately for him, effect. he didn't actually have superpowers. He did win, though, and I guess when you think about it, your face isn't that important if you're a professional runner. In tennis, it pays to be accurate. Just think of all those oh match-winning shots that would have been worthless if they hadn't gone straight yeah, down the line also so being get back to it uh -huh. anyway how'd you guys do i think i did great i win i'm the best ever i am it's me oh my goodness gracious football that's true yeah he just got ragdolled that is very true. Okay. Uh -uh. I'll get back to my point. Maybe just like one or two more bites. <laughs> I'm such a bad host. But it's okay. I would watch more sports if it was allowed like that. That's true. Sports would be way funnier if it was just bloopers, I think. I still haven't had this. Someone said, hey, could you check this out? And then never replied. So, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> what is your sport, Wally? Uh, basketball is probably basketball and soccer. I am probably the best at a lot of fun, good times, good laughs and good memories. Sports is like one of those things that you can do as a Jehovah's witness. So I think a lot of people are just naturally drawn to it. Witnesses just are so sheltered and they can't do anything. So what are you going to do? But play a little bit of sport anywho i guess we can get back to the topic at hand now that i've had my sustenance yes no maybe so whoopsie daisy uh, hold on one second just gotta plug this in play kingdom melody number 23 dark days are here did i miss that or is... i think maybe the this is slower i wonder yeah this is oh no that's not okay do do sorry oh, no it's about the same speed no it is faster no it's slower i don't know well what was well, that was pretty much any conversation. 
My grandma made some excuses about praying before games. Huh? My grandma made some excuses about praying before games and that she didn't want me. That's okay. Uh, huh, well. Your grandma was, uh, well, I won't say speak ill of anyone, so. I'd like to clarify. I was making a joke about the football thing. It's a 420, and I'm celebrating, so my jokes won't always hit. Well, you know what? You're still watching this stream, so I'm assuming most people are uh, pretty, pretty high. Guillermo just thought he would say that, so thanks for that. That's really helping. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sorry, I can't. I wasn't keeping up with things. <clears throat> um. Anyway, so I was going to... Maybe I got to get a little Word document going. But um, what are some of the duh, 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 words that Watchtower uses? Um that I should directly discuss. Wow, I got a lot of tabs open here. I guess we'll just open one more and slide it over here and get rid of all this. And this. Cancel. Whatever. Cancel, it's fine. Don't save, it's fine. Um. Don't save. It's good. Uh, boom. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Uh, you guys probably can't see that, so let me make the letters look super big. <clears throat> the truth. Oh, what is happening? Click over here. That is not a valid number. Huh? Oh. Can you guys see that? I live in Phoenix. I'm always feeling toasty. <laughs> the truth generation. Do, 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 do. Boop. Generation. We're, we're brainstorming. We're brainstorming collectively. <clears throat> we'll put everyone that participates in the credits. Wally, do you miss the Seattle Supersonics? Do you think they'll come back before this generation comes to pass? <laughs> I think it would be really hype to have a basketball team, but if I am so inclined, which I still have never done, is I can go to uh, Portland. But, you know, I think it would be super fun to have a, a Sonics team here. Hmm. Worldly. Now we're cooking. One man show. Worldly. That is true. That word just has like that special, special significance. Sonics are gone. I haven't watched the NBA in like 20 years. Yeah, my man, they left like 20 years ago. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't quite that long ago, but it was probably 15, maybe 15 years ago, I reckon. The truth. Generation. Worldly. Uh, they also really mess this one up. Dating. Like, you rub shoulders with someone, or you talk to them one time, and you're like, that one's more like Jehovah's Witness culture than perhaps necessarily what, uh, like, actual Watchtower articles and stuff like that. Are we making a list, a JW list of culty words? Uh, yeah, so I wanted to do a whole video, and I was just getting a few word ideas from the kind people of YouTube, because I thought we could talk about some of the silly words that they're using, and then get into why they have this perverted sense of using words that make absolutely no sense, or yeah, encouraging. I like that. Oh, that was a good yawn. Okay. Uh, encouraging and oh now we're cooking secular wow i messed that up secular 
brotherly love. Mm, courage. Oh, I got that. Bad association. Um, badass. Privilege. Ah, privilege is a good one. I, I can spell, guys. What did I do wrong here? I did something wrong. Hey, Christy. I don't even know what I did wrong. It's fine. It's not about the... We're sending a message. The use of the word slave, like faithful and discreet. Yeah, that is a good one. Especially when uh, you consider... I really like slave, Ryan. <laughs> that That's going to end up on a clip somewhere. Whoops. <laughs> anyway... Uh, I think that one's particularly interesting because they are the ones in charge. They're the ones making all of the decisions. And yeah, I like that one. Reaching out. Emblems. Do, 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 do. Up building. System of a down. The system of things. The Pioneer Publisher. <laughs> like Pioneer. Oh. Okay. Give me a second. Jehovah Jargon. Oh, my Lord. This is clutch. Thanks, uh, everyone. Thank one bun. Um, wow, that weird space right between monitors. Um, home. Uh, let me just do this. Oh. Okay, well, we got a whole list here, but you guys probably can't see it. Uh, is it like view? I just need to zoom. Can you guys see that one? Coming through as always. Let's see. We got brazen conduct, conscience matter, disassociated, disfellowshipped, in the truth, inspired expressions, hospital liaison, field service, exercising faith. I like exercising faith. Zoom. Control plus. Yeah, we, we hit that. My friend Deciphering Worship made that. Oh, well, thank you. This is actually super good. Invisible Presence. <laughs> Invisible Presence. That one's kind of weird. Spare the Rod, Spoil the Child. Yeah, that. we know all about that one now, don't we? That's why we can't sit still. New System School. Serious Sin. Serving where the need is greater. Oh, organization. That's a good one. Generation truth. Pure language. Yeah, that's another thing, too, is like when you're claiming to have a total monopoly on all of language, then it's particularly egregious that you're going to be. Uh, you're going to be perverting the language, too. I guess that's why monopolies are bad. But everyone, subscribe to the channel. Like this video. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Widen out. <laughs> oh, that one's a good one. I like widen out. That That's a, a real JW classic. Hope everything is well. Yes, everything is well. Marriage mate, chaperone, Rakta. Marriage mate, chaperone, sister, brother, fleshly. Those are all good. I like that for sure. Because I think talking about that more will help us to not be so easily bamboozled, if it were. Oh, chaperones. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> chaperones. That one was funny. But yeah, I think it'll help us to be less susceptible to landing right where we were. And maybe talking about how language affects that so much. And it can just sort of slip by. I mean, I know for me personally, it just kind of 
some things just slip by and until someone points it out to you you're like oh wait that's that's not all right that's not okay and then we make adjustments and changes and we grow circuit over sears i like that one are you feeling better christy marking talk well the reason a person does this fellowship or publicly repeat is never given a marking talk is usually a discreet way to tell the congregation i remember shout outs to anyone that's had a marking talk i'm sure some of you guys have hmm? Hmm? spiritual head that's a pretty good one co visit <laughs> long suffering didn't they they change that word like that expression long suffering to mean like something else i thought but i can't really remember I am okay a little better. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Aren't you guys excited when I stop doing caveman streams and I actually have a plan? Won't that be so exciting? But you'll remember the good old days. You'll remember those times when it was just us, 50 people, just kind of hanging out, having our having a little bit of wine, eating some salad, chewing it in the microphone, and freaking Daniel out. We'll, rem we'll remember who was here first. <laughs> the marking talks happened all the time. Go to the bathroom at the same time as everyone else. There's a talk about it. <laughs> That's true. That kind of goes along with what I think about dating as well. Like you can literally start talking to someone just barely. And they're like, no, we're dating. It's like, no. I mean, you're getting to know someone. That seems pretty fair, but. Apparently, you don't. Some people don't like the uh, the expression "getting to know a certain group of people," um, but they would prefer date. So, if you're ever out and talking to your neighbor, say, "Hey, do you want to date?" and uh, just watch how they freak out. <laughs> oh, is that why that's? Oh, that is. All things are coming together. If they, oh, sorry. I used to go to the bathroom constantly just now this is just a classic any anyone that's been a jehovah's witness knows this trick you just can't stand <laughs> you can't stand just sitting in your seat we should do a stream a live stream with comments well that was my other plan um if we all if everything all died out oh yeah i was thinking we could watch an old watchtower movie but also uh reading some old nasty comments that are on the youtubes youtube actually deletes mine i've think i've deleted like three or four uh comments ever so it's pretty rare for me to do that but anyway dan d we are all dating now thank you so much i appreciate it man yay we're dating well I mean, at least we know that there's a couple on uh, on uh, TikTok that will accept us. <laughs> so, so at least they'll uh, they'll keep us uh, all entertained. <laughs> Talk commenting, that's all good. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and then uh, everyone post in chat if you want to watch a movie, read old comments. I mean, watch a movie, watch a JW movie, which I don't know if we want to do that. Watching a cringy Watchtower movie would be hysterical. I think it would be kind of fun to do together. And I, I can see if there's any that I haven't seen. Because I was thinking today, while I was out walking, that I haven't actually watched the uh, convention in any of its parts, I don't believe. I think I did a whole video saying how excited I was that, you know, I had the YouTube channel and I was finally going to be able to do, you know, a convention and watch it and talk about it and all that good stuff. And then uh, there was like five videos every single day being posted about the convention. And I was like, well, uh, yeah, definitely don't need to do that. So I'll spend my time doing something else. Anyway, um, say what you want to do in chat or I guess if watch convention okay i'm gonna be right back i'm just gonna go use the bathroom
Everyone's taking their potty break. Bada bing, bada boom. Hail, all hail, the ZZ. You're trying to get me to do like some D's nuts things. Not falling for the bait. Not falling for the bait. Hail D's nuts. Got him. Bro, what I was only in one. You were only in one congregation? That takes skill. Usually people get so annoyed at the congregation that they're in that they end up like dipping after a while. It was really ubiquitous in my area. But my goodness, people congregation hopped anytime they had a disagreement or if they uh, there was some type of uh, unfaithfulness, which happened fairly often. There was like a huge, weird, I mean, weird, like a lot of people involved in two of the congregations that I was in. And I was like, wow, people be out here doing the most like just just be excellent to people, man. <laughs> I, I want people to be excellent to me. Our halls were boring to me. Everyone was old in our meeting. Yeah, there was always those halls that didn't have a, didn't have a whole lot of life or energy. Z Z's name is spelled. Oh, are we changing the spelling now? You were only in one too. <laughs> I feel for you, man. I feel for you. That's got to be rough. <laughs> it's tough out there. It's definitely tough out there. Okay. Let us, you and I, uh, embark upon a journey. A journey. Thanks again for sending that to me, Bun. That will make things easy. Yeehaw. Boom, boom. Uh, let me send a quick message. Boom. I changed music, and every time I change it, the volume seems to go up. So if it is too loud, let me know. But I like the chill vibe. I like the chill vibe that we have here on the JW Thoughts channel. Where we laugh a lot and we cry a little. And ZZ cries when people don't like the video. Did you know he cries active little cat tears? They come streaming, careening out of his face. Don't you like the color of ZZ's eyes too? How they're not like just yellow cat eyes that are scary. See, every time we lose viewers, ZZ, I should just, just have you on camera. You're the main uh, main star of the show. And then, then he has this other thing. Like, if you touch him, he has to, like, clean himself a little bit. He's like, God, so dirty. Okay, anyway. um, Guess who didn't text back, Wally? I don't know who didn't text back. Did I not text you back? I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm actually going to concentrate and focus. Wally is in full concentration mode. How stupid is that? That cat will kill you in your sleep. Mark my word. This cat will not. This cat will not. They absolutely will not. Okay, yeah, I do have to focus. See? I get distracted so easily. What are we thinking? Um, I could go for like a super old... Oh, not one word. I didn't watch the Daniel video. Was it bad? You got that's probably one you've seen like most recently though, right? If you didn't go. Oh, now this is actually kind of wacky. There is a, a Kingdom Hall like elitist group of people that think their hall is absolutely the best. And it's so funny to look back on just how petty and stupid it was. But I remember we would even 
um, talk about um, da, ba, 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 ba. we'd even talk about like the size of someone's service group uh we would talk about how many elders and how many pioneers they had and oh well you know the we have five pioneers you only have one how how you must be ashamed of yourself you absolute hooligans <laughs> it was it was so strange to me is there any such thing as the right hall the one i went to because it was lit and we had fun thanks karaoke buzz i appreciate that you're very generous <clears throat> oh sorry did someone say something about the daniel thing okay i don't know if i want to watch that anyway oh jehovah well wow, they have a lot of these i haven't seen the jonah one either i don't think man i don't know if i've seen any of these new ones i am a really bad apostate i don't remember seeing the one on jesus daniel jonah i think i saw the one on josiah I definitely didn't... Nehemiah? When did all of these come out? Where have I been? The Daniel movie actually wasn't so bad. The guy who played the elder Daniel was a terrible actor. That's fun. I was in a shared hall. Sorry, I'm just going to do this. I was in a shared hall and we were the old congregation with all the young people meeting with the other congregation. It sucked because all the kids my age were in the other congregation. Yeah, that would just like all be terrible. Um, I will reply to you, though. I just will have to find that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Warning examples for our day. I think I watched that one. And I think I did the... I don't know if I can remember Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. Which one is this? When was this released? I don't know. I watched both Ben Hur movies in entirety on Sunday. <laughs> Did you see if I kind of thought they was the New Haven City Point? Where is that in Connecticut? Because I think one of my friends was in that hall. Those movie, those movies, terrible. Imagine an elder's voice times ten. Yeah, we had one man, one woman anointed in my congregation. They were both out. They're both out now. Yeah, I guess being anointed, you get that free Holy Spirit, baby. Daniel first for no particular reason. We've got a few for Daniel here. Elders would school people for going to other congregations in the same hall for no reason. Yeah, that was like another weird thing that would happen. Like, say you had a friend in another congregation and there was like a, a boy or a girl or something that you liked or a guy or... Anyway, you know what I mean. And... Uh, <clears throat> And you would like, oh, hey, let's go out and service. But basically, you're going out and service, so you get a little bit of FaceTime with them. Daniel wants Daniel. What a surprise. True. But yeah, no, people will get like really upset. Like, why are you going out and working the territory? Don't you know we have to finish our memorial campaign? And they like work their way into a whole goddamn frenzy. Oh, Lordy. That was funny. Daniel, I've never seen the Daniel movie. You get Wally's live reactions to it. Shall we do it? Everyone put a D in chat for Daniel. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. This is like two hours long. Well, we're only, well, we'll probably skip some parts. I almost said I'm waiting for that D, and then I realized that it would be funny. And then I realized just now that I said it anyway. So there's that. Wally's over here pouring some wine, waiting for that D. <laughs> this is not my not my best jokes. Yep, yep. I I knew it was coming. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I remember being a teenager and begging my sister if we could go to the meeting with her so I could see my boyfriend. Wow, good old memories. Good old memories. Hey, I could actually repaint my nails while we're watching this because I can't imagine it takes too much brain power. Um, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. 
that wasn't awesome. You're awesome, Christy. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Which camera do we like? Uh oh, wait. Whoops. Whoop. Do we like this camera angle? Oh, I'm no, I need to be over here. Whoa, that's a little bit too much Wally. -E. Do I like this one? <laughs> I think this is the one. I feel like this is the most easily recognizable. Uh, I can do this, guys. Can I move these around? That would be really cool if you could just click something. Full screen layout. Mute screen audio. Remove from stream. I don't know what that does. Okay, we'll just do it like this. Let's fucking go. 617 BCE. A man was born. Born into a world of fog and really loud dramatic thuds. Can we get another dramatic thud? Yeah. Why is this so dark? Is this dark for you guys too? Or is this just how this movie was shot? Wally torture. Why? I don't know. I, it'll be fun. Trust me. It'll be fun. Maybe the movie's just really dark. I don't know, man. My king. My king general. That's a slick move. Starved them out. I'm gonna do Bunch that in a video randomly. Negotiations don't and that'll be how I say hi to you guys. But your incompetence does. Finish it! Or you'll not find me as forgiving as the gods. Yes, my king. Yes. <laughs> Daniel, a simple man. But a lifetime of faith. This is what Jehovah of Armies says. Because you did not obey my words, all this land will be reduced to ruins. And this land and its inhabitants will have to serve the king of Babylon for 70 years. The funny thing about like the idea that they didn't listen. It, conceivably, if God has everything already sort of scouted out and planned ahead, and he knows that he's going to hire um, uh, uh, Charles Taze Russell in 1874 to start a campaign whereby he splits off from the Advent <laughs> Adventist and starts his own religion. A anyway, if all of that's kind of already worked out, what is the point of these prophets? What What is their actual function? Like, are they just telling people what's going to happen and they're just like scared shitless? Like, well, Looks like we're all going to die. May as well throw a party. Like, it seems really odd to me, I guess, the whole concept of that. And then you only have one example, or there's probably more examples where people heeded the warning. Anyway, Daniel gets so much wrong. In case you confuse it with Judas, a weekend of faith. <laughs> a weekend at faith. A weekend at faith camp. Looks like a young Toby Maguire. Daniel, where have you been? It's almost sundown. Sorry, Jeremiah was speaking today, and I, uh, I stopped by the temple on the way home. Well, we're almost ready. Hey, you cracked me up. This movie is quieter than when I go to the bathroom on stream. You're at the temple again today. I was. To gaze upon the pleasantness of Jehovah. And to look with appreciation upon his temple. <laughs> Why did that sound a little sus to me? <laughs> to gaze upon the glory of Jehovah and peer into his temple. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a child. I have something for you. I actually might need to move this because Zizi's not playing with it and it's blocking up my screen. So you can always have Jehovah's words with you. These are uh, much better than the ones we had back in the day, but by golly, we're sticking with it. What's wrong? 
What's going to happen to us? Didn't you just hear the prophet? You're all getting killed and shipped off to Babylon. What always happens to Jehovah's faithful servants. Have no fear. Jehovah is our shield. What's going to happen to us? Well, your parents are going to be murdered in front of you and you're going to be shipped off to a foreign land where you're going to have to be pressured into serving these false gods. But you know what? Anybody else getting a... <laughs> hey, they they are staring into uh, Jehovah's Temple. Whatever that means. Here's ready. Don't drain your battery, Darth. I feel like my light is so bright in comparison to theirs. Let's sing. Oh, our this is now that we actually had a little bit of light there. Jehovah is my light. That was a really good fake beard. The light does get brighter. True. Him. Jehovah is my light, Jehovah is my salvation, whom should I fear? I like how they, the Watchtower can't imagine a scenario where you don't have a happy, clappy family that is just ready to have a meal together and sing a kingdom song. <laughs> like... <laughs> why 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 is that why is that their wet dream of all of the things to to get excited about this is what really gets gets tony morris and crew uh charged up thinking you know what those jehovah's witnesses ah they're gonna be singing just like them jehovah is not how it's pronounced oh true i guess well it's all in english so yeah whatever We never ate at the table. We won't get any It's a whole other topic. <laughs> Why do they just break out all the time? Hey, X Witness Awake. Hey, J Dub, no more. What's going on? This is the best worst acting ever. Yeah, I think it's actually bad funny because you can just have bad, like irritating. But Daniel, Toby Stand McGuire. By. I've got to go with Papa. When you come back, you want to play Noah's Ark? Sure. <laughs> you be? <laughs> uh, were you guys here when I did? showed the uh my old uh stop motion <laughs> that actually depicts noah's ark <laughs> it's like everyone's just hanging out having a good time try and build a better world <laughs> and then god just blasts everyone in the whole world <laughs> like... <laughs> do you want to watch noah's ark oh or play noah's ark that is so funny man i really want to actually see them play noah's ark like i just picture like them grabbing like a big old thing of water and just like dousing it and like evil and then like throwing it over their heads and being like a good person <laughs> i don't even know oh this is great <laughs> do you want to play noah's ark i'll be a lion <laughs> Then Capitalizing on the innocence and playfulness of nothing. children. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> now we're not going to get to play Noah's Ark. You're here. Yeah, do things. We have to go. Go. Go where? We don't live here anymore. <laughs> Push him. 
Grab our bags. True. Hopefully she was one of the lions that made it over there in time. <laughs> uh, the girl said, Daniel, do you want to play Noah's Ark? <laughs> That's a cool shot. Those are some pretty cool bucket hats. Maybe I should see if I have mine. Do I have my classic bucket hat? Hold on, let's see. Uh, oh. No, I don't think it's in here. Nope. It's not in here, but it would have been funny. Well, this got dark fast. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's let it ride. I love the game of the art of Futurama. You are crazy. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> My brother used to watch Futurama and was always trying to get me to watch it, but I never did. Those are old wind. <laughs> They, they had an oversupply of window washing buckets. So they just like, hey guys, you know what would be a really easy way to get all these props and not have to pay for it? Just ask all the window cleaners if they have any buckets. And as a as a former window cleaner, I can uh, I can attest to the fact that there was a lot of buckets around. Babylonia District, a three day journey from the capital. Hitting us with the violin is pretty heavy. I hate this place. I hate this goddamn city. This whole city is full of piss. I, 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 I hate this city. Thanks, Zizi. Why were so many J Dub's window washers? Uh, you wouldn't have to uh, work with anyone. You work by yourself. Kind of set your own schedule. Easy for pioneering. I actually didn't mind it at all. From an extendable pole. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna fall for that. For that joke. Open up. That's actually funny. The sunset footage cost them more than the actors. That's actually very true. Daniel here, did that too. Of the tribe of Judah. He's really nailing this accent. You will that's receive for sure. training in the house of the great king Nebuchadnezzar. But this is my family. Princes and nobles belong in the palace. I don't know what that means. He's not a prince, he's just a boy. Please, I will go. If it's a servant, you see. No, I'm taking the boy. Daniel. Wait, can we say goodbye? Make it quick. <laughs> so I think they're missing like a key piece of uh, historical <laughs> historical context here. Um, yeah, this isn't how that's going down. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's uh, ancient world. That's not the scene. Hey, can we at least say goodbye? Make it quick. Oh, they're gonna... The way they... <laughs> yeah, I do like that too. It's like they don't even give it a give it a whirl, or at least make it so silly it's funny. I don't know. Anyway. Please, I will go if it is a servant you seek. I know you are about to take my son away from me forever, but please do not do that. It would Be make me quite my sad. Son. Jehovah is with you. 
Lo, I'm going to time you out for such a bad joke. <laughs> From the manga. That'd actually be pretty hype. A JW Thoughts Bible manga. You just need an artist. That could be kind of fun to do. Just a whole slew of funny, goofy stories. I like where your hat's, head's at. Hitting us with the CGI effect? <laughs> okay, you can stay. <laughs> Thank you, Lo. <laughs> You properly swear jar. Daniel. He didn't want to be timed out, Jade up no more. Yeah. Not that I would have. You didn't you know, think we let you come here alone? Five dollars, something That's strange right. for some change. You know what I mean? Ananiah. This is Kizlong in the high tub. Nice to meet you. Move These guys seem awfully white. Hey, wait, that's the... He was in one of the other videos, too. Is it just me, or am I missing something? Like, I don't know. They all seem to be uh, cut from the same cloth. What do you get when you cross a JW? Oh, boy, I shouldn't have opened up the, the floodgates of bad dad jokes. His it's 99 cents for a bad dad joke. <laughs> it's a stick of gum. <laughs> like guys from Bethel playing Hebrews. Yeah. I know a bunch, the guy on the right, I know a bunch of people when I did the other video about like how to choose friends or something when he's like, uh, I can't even remember. He was like the boyfriend or something. There was a bunch of people that said that they knew him. Yeah, is that true? That's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> Don't get enthralled with the foreign women. Keep your head down. <laughs> Seeing that old like piece of art just reminded me of something. Do you guys remember when they changed something in the da I think it was the Daniel book where they changed like a slight detail that had to do with like a picture and they're like it wouldn't have been that color or the lion wouldn't have had uh wings on it or they they changed something really silly and pretty unremarkable and yet the whole like book is just full of all of this crap and interpretation of things and yet what they decided to change or is is like this weird, small, tiny little details. I always cracked me up about how proud they always were of their, uh, of like their historic accuracy. This has become a ZZ tail string. He is getting into my salad. I think he wants the feta. I'm guessing that's the case. But all you guys will see. Okay, we're getting back to it. Well, now that ZZ's awake, uh, things are difficult. Maybe I'll go get ZZ some food. Do you guys mind if I take a break? Not really a break, but just go get ZZ some food? Can I do that? Will you guys be upset with me? Will you say mean things to me? Because I don't want you to say mean things to me. I don't like that. I like nice things. Like, hi, Wally. You're the best. And we want to give you a hug. Feed the kitty, JW No More says. Do whatever you need to keep ZZ happy. See, at least we all can agree on one thing. That ZZ is the most important thing. No, since we have Toby Maguire on screen. That's true. We do got Toby to keep you guys uh, company for a bit. But if anyone comes by and says, what is happening? It's because uh, ZZ needs food. Be right back. Do, do, do. do you like how amazing i can uh find any reason just to get out of my chair because i like to move around
You guys can hear my cat. Oof. Your last video was so great. Oh, thank you. I changed the thumbnail and it seemed to, the algorithm seemed to appreciate that because it didn't do very well. Do, 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 do. Oh, you weren't talking to me. <laughs> I'm not a narcissist. I just think everything's about me. Okay, boom. That's easy. See you later. <clears throat> okay. We have fed ZZ. ZZ is happy. Everyone is happy ZZ's fed. And we get to get back to Tony McGuire and his group of other cast from West Side Story. And they are going to band together and take down the Babylonian Empire. What a bunch of actual chats. But I guess I can't really talk about Chad's because Ryan is the Chad expert. Ryan being cult tested. She's the expert of all Chad's. You have been chosen because you were wise. But you are lacking. You will learn our writing and our language. You will be given new names. And at the end of... This is like an just actual elder speak, but they're doing it in the funniest way. You are lacking. You will learn our language. And our ways. <laughs> it's so painful. It's like, hurry up. Just say it already. God, I'm just like absolutely dying over here. I always say the best way to watch JW videos is to do it on like two, two times speed. Because so much is just nothing. Cut it back into theme. And, and our modern language. Yes. <laughs> Three years, you will serve the great king, Nebuchadnezzar. Hey. You are foreigners. You are foreigners. Tomorrow? <laughs> the gods willing. Babylonians. <laughs> Babylonians. Your field service reports the past three months, only total four hours. You are lacking. You will never run the microphone again. All right, see you later, brother. I will grab you a fake beard and run. Should I should I do this with my fake beard? I can go grab one of the Wally classic fake beards. Meshack. You look like a Meshack. <laughs> you look like a Meshack. Our new names sound like they're gods. New name. There's no shot that, that they played this at the convention and didn't get a laugh out of people. I really think they put that in there just to be funny. It made me laugh. So you know what? Shout outs to Watchtower. Even if you make a bad joke, at least you tried. You look like a Meshack. You disgusting foreigner. Names, new language. Soon they want us to worship their gods. Calm down. My father had idols. And he worshipped Jehovah. <laughs> did you see the same city I did? It's the center of the world. We'll even eat from the king's table. 
Well, he seems excited. What do Babylonians eat? <laughs> of human flesh and rocks. His servants what do you mean? are given only that far the best. Away. Where is, yeah, where is to bed we go? You actually got into these dramas? What's wrong with you, karaoke buzz? Is there a problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a Our, uh, pig in front of me. <laughs> God doesn't allow us to eat such foods. Uh, I'm sure you... Oh, well, I don't know about that, but maybe even the fabric. I wonder if they would just like walk around naked if they couldn't get any uh, non-mixed fabrics as well. <laughs> They're like, well, looks like we just got to YOLO it. <laughs> You fear your God? Uh, yeah, I do. Literally, what I just said, man. Well, I am afraid of my Lord the King. <laughs> this guy is so bad. Who has assigned your food and drink? He insists on these selections to maintain oh, your easy. strength and vitality. What if he should see you looking? worse in appearance than the other youths. You would make me guilty before the king. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I must obey the king. Oh my so Lord. Must you. Help me please, for the love of God. All of you. We finally, we have inflection, people. We actually have someone more served, than just a monotone. I expect you to be hungry. Well, apparently I'm not eating, so do you think I'm just, my hunger's just going to go away? <laughs> Reading the scrolls. It's okay. Zizi's here. He's here. He's here for us. You don't speak for us. Hi, Zizi. Could you uh, move? You're right. Please? You can for make me? your own choice. Didn't you hear him? We don't have a choice. Oh, no, don't do that. No one wants to see It's a new land that. with new laws. So what if some of the food is unbled? It's just food. <laughs> it's Joe just... commanded us not to eat blood. It's your interpretation. And jump. You must not eat any blood at all. What's to interpret in that? Maybe we should all take a moment and pray. Pray. Here. Are we going to talk about the blood issue or just keep keep on moving? Maybe we should just keep it moving. I don't know. Who does talk like that? I have no clue. It's What's brutal. the point? Jehovah's in Israel. We're in Babylon now. Don't you believe? Now that's the first sensible thing that I've heard on this. Because, yeah, Jehovah is in Israel. Because they thought that he actually, like inhabited the temple like that was the whole idea back then so that was actually pretty accurate jehovah's in israel we're in babylon their ideas about gods and things were uh were quite nuanced why are they all clean shaven were beards only for over 30s i don't know man i guess uh i'll give you the elder response and write uh, write a letter to the branch and see what they say i'm sure they'll clarify it for you I am sick of people telling me to pray and not eat blood. It's annoying. Believe Jehovah's here too? Hey, Gene Walker. Jehovah said that we're his witnesses. Like full on lover boy, right? What will people say about Jehovah? I just want him to like come crashing we give through him the, break his loss. the door and be like, the everybody is working for the weekend. That'd make this way more hype. Zizi, what are you doing? You're gonna... Did you hear me? Thank you. But if we eat those foods... <laughs> that sharp rock. We'll disobey our God. You wanna starve? No, of course not, but... 
He forbids us from eating blood and food that he calls unclean. And shellfish. Please, test your servants for ten days. And let us be given some vegetables to eat and, and water to drink. Vegetables. <laughs> Just give us 10 days. I'm just going to casually not eat for 10 days. According to what you see. I'll be fine. No shellfish. Ten Why can't you just give them some... Oh, okay. They are giving him some cucumbers and rice and stuff. Rock badger must have been the current superfood at the time. True. I would you couldn't make it ten days of veggies. I was a vegetarian and a vegan for many years. Not so much at the moment. Nebuchadnezzar. Hey. That's not bad. Oh, it's a little buttery lobster. Kind of warm up my palate. Good medium rare is, is, is right where you want it. Oh, this guy is like actually just like sweating bullets over here. <laughs> Give it to me! I need it! Uh oh. Uh oh. You. No good. Son of a bitch. Yeah, look at him with disdain over there enjoying lobster. Oh, you're allergic to fish? That's a bummer. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of an, an analogy here, but it's a little bit like when they tell you that you can't have sex until you're married, or you can't date anyone that's not a witness, and or you can't like play team sports or anything like that. And so people you know, always are looking over, well, maybe that you guys weren't, maybe it was just me, but I was like, well... They seem like they're having fun. That seems like they don't seem to be bad people, <laughs> but, <laughs> but they're just they're just living their, a normal life. And my God, these other people sit here like, nope, 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 can't do that. Nope, 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 never be. I'm only getting lobster. Lobsters were the in the North Atlantic. Maybe they were really big crawdads. We'll go with that. No shrimp to <laughs> stupid. Yeah, I know. It's so crazy. And then they just look over like with this disparaging look, which is exactly what I did when one of my friends would, you know, leave and because they wanted to date someone. And I just look over. I'm like, you disgust me, pitiful weak. Before you leave that older body. No soup for you. Seinfeld fans? Seinfeld fans. Thanks, Scott. Seinfeld's great. I'm glad they added it to Netflix. They got rid of the office, but brought on Seinfeld. So, you know, take what you can get. I like to imagine that the governing body were actually eating lobster like in the backgrounds while they're writing the script and then they're like giving them this weird rubbery stale croutons 10 days later they need to hire me to do a voice i'll do it for a hundred thousand dollars do you think they'll accept my offer hey tw Ash I didn't notice you in chat earlier.
My lord, these young men are. I wrong. know who they are. The tension, been watching you. the suspense. Oh, please make sure you talk really, all really slowly. Of you. All. Uh, this is like the kid in Malcolm in the middle. Our idols. You pray only to your God. And you are not eating our foods. I can't deal with this guy. That their God would not somehow. Is there a way to... You look healthier than the others. <laughs> oh my God. Continue giving them the diet they've requested. Oh my God. Somehow you look healthier and than the others. Shazar. Your future is bright. Don't waste it. Yeah, I, I you couldn't get anything done in this low lighting. Maybe maybe I should join the club. Oh, sorry. Three years later. Bring in the next group. The three Hebrews did CrossFit and they looked. Okay, guys, we're turning down the lights. The total ration would be fifteen Kuru. Two Peno and five Sutu. What were those words he just said? Correct. <laughs> How much interest may a merchant charge on money and grain? Those tight tunics, baby. They were they were some real head turners. It would be forty percent, my lord. Forty percent. Have you learned only to be a thief the past three years? And you, Meshach? Yeah. The rate is 20%. Idiot. Very good. Which star of Enlil is brightest in the Urgula constellation? That's funny that they bring that up. <laughs> Might help disprove some of Watchtower's lore. <clears throat> we guess we won't get into that. Do you know? It is the Lugal star. Well, now we, we really learned something. There is a tower that is high, but nonetheless has no shade. What is it? What is this like a weird test? <laughs> okay. If you want to serve in the king's court, you got to solve these word problems. What's in the ukulele constellation? What about you, Belteshazzar? Uh, uh, I, I think it's a harmonica. Very impressive. <laughs> it's so stupid. Your ziggurat? Yes, my ziggurat. Hopeless. <laughs> Hopeless. You can solve the riddle? There's sunlight, my lord. Whoa. Correct. My wise men teach that the gods are responsible for everything. If that's so, why do the good suffer and the evil prosper? No one's been able to. Now, this is a quality question that he's posing. I like that Watchtowers is so bold. Oh, he was probably the best window washer in like the whole circuit. And so he got like a maybe they had a competition, maybe like at their talent shows that they did. Um, they had like just a bunch of windows all set up and then this guy just came in and was hitting it with the with the fast technique and and he won a golden uh, bucket and so they were able to repurpose it so the gold bucket will live on forever in our minds that's pretty hype i like that uh what was i saying i forgot already no because if they modernize it you'll get that really bad one like the story of job and that one was rough. Uh, anytime they mod and the lot lot's wife too. When they modernize them, I think it makes them worse. But anyway, it's your time. Do what you like. Jeopardy music starts playing. Sorry, 
Let's get to it. Let's see what they say. As you say, O king, the wise do not always have the food, nor do the intelligent always have the riches, nor do those with knowledge always have success, because time and unexpected events overtake them all. He has solved, he has answered the question on why does God allow suffering? I'm I'm impressed. And with the the increasing a violin note, man, this is super, super great. They're billions of dollars and in investments into an enormous movie studio. Do they think it imperative to invest in beard improvements? I think they do need some beard improvements, honestly. I mean, these look like my level of, of, of beards where it's just, well, this was $7 on uh, Amazon. I guess I'll go with that one. Good gravy. Actually, those fake beards are expensive. They're like 20 bucks. Anyway, this guy is just an absolute genius, though. Who wrote those words? Solomon. Famed for his wisdom. But its source was his God. Our God, Jehovah. I mean, that debate was on the level Take of like... I don't know. William Lane Craig and when should we return? You won't. Sam Harris. It was that. Go back to your families. Proven worthless. This is built the Shazar. No. Party grade stuff. Not the four of you. We have more to discuss. You can't. I do not know your God, but you've proven to be 10 times better than any priest or conjurer I've met. That would actually be really hype if you could actually grow a beard that looked Ashman like it was a fake arranged beard. I to serve in the palace with my wise men. Maybe your gifts were wasted in Jerusalem, but here they'll be put to use. Yeah. At least they still got their headbands. At least they got to keep some merch from the whole experience. Seven years later. 607 BCE. Oh no. Oh no. The victory in Jerusalem is complete. Oh no. Our forces are now preparing to besiege Tyre. Oh no. They should remember what happened to Zedekiah. Zedekiah got messed up. The gods are with us. Here's the expensive sunset sh sunset shot. <laughs> I really, <laughs> uh, I don't know why I like that so much, but oh no, I skipped too far back. I've really stuffed it now. What have I done? Oh no. Oh my god. Our forces are not preparing to. Oh, I should higher. never. Okay. Now Wally will never go back in time. They should remember what happened to Zedekiah. The gods are with us. I like the ominous music with the blowing of the curtains, though. That's pretty fun. You got to get those advanced algorithms, TW. Jira. Hi, what Jira. It? It's about Jerusalem. <laughs> Run for set Tom Cruise. That is like every single Mission Impossible movie. It's just him running in a suit, but this time it's with a robe. Good thing he got the loose fitting one. They really butchered this whole timeline. Where though. are you going? To see my family. I don't think your family's around, my man. I really don't know where this is going. Oh, they were... They got out of the city, that's right. Hey, they're still singing over dinner. Wait, was it that easy for him to leave and just go see his family? 
like this whole time could he just be like well i gotta go see my family so i'm i'm gonna head out now <laughs> it's easy get down from there it's easy no don't stand on the edge of that you're gonna knock it over it's easy you fool no no come on Oh, that's not what everyone wants to see. The headband was too tight. Anyway, that is very odd. Let's keep running it. Well, there goes that water. I'm going to get the mint out of the way for you. Yeah, he's like, well, I'm going to go see my family now. Later, guys. Why didn't you do that earlier? This is so odd. I'm sure they have a reason to, like, put all of this in here, but couldn't he just like not go back or something? What's wrong? He is. He's been he's been working on it for a while, Christy. It's Jerusalem. That's why he eats so many snacks and treats. They he tore down the walls. And he's he gonna go back towers. full Super Saiyan mode. Him and Krillin are gonna make a spirit bomb and go blast the gates of Babylon. And he died, and they burned down Jehovah's house. Thanks, cat. You gave money to the cat. Why don't people listen. Hey, that's what we should do. Every time someone has a super chat, do they think Jehovah could? We'll give Zizi treats. What doing. That is the most shameless thing I've ever said in my entire life. As don't long as our temple that. existed, that's why I shouldn't live stream. Our people had. I can't hope. edit that out. <laughs> One treat for you. Thanks, cat. As long as Jehovah exists, we have hope. But he's rejected us because of our unrighteousness. They're really uh, trying to push that that uh, parasocial narrative here. Where it's It was our fault that he's rejected us. And so he decided, let our city burn. Let this temple that cost in modern times hundreds of millions of dollars burn to the ground and get completely sacked women children nothing bad ever happens to them when a city is invaded but you know what it's okay guys it's fine it was our fault also apostates if you end up leaving the organization just remember it's your fault that all of this bad stuff is happening to you so just think about what you've done. Holy moly, y'all. Holy moly. Um, I can't read chat when ZZ's standing there, so whatever you're saying, I can't. He read. hasn't. Not everyone. Jehovah told Ezekiel that in his eyes, what full on bug eyes, are as righteous as Noah. And Job. That's pretty huge. I don't think I'll ever reach that place in my he life. Said that. He said that. He said that for me. He said that for me. Thank you so much for saying that for me. Jehovah cares so much. And why are we in exile? <laughs> You just answered the question as to why suffering happens, and now you've immediately why forgotten. Go home? You did come why home. Why can't we be together? You can. You are home, son. Correct. <laughs> Your hall got burned down, E. Smith? That's wild. 
Is that one of those ones in the news? I don't have all the answers. ZZ Treat in Brazilian Stay Rio. close to Jehovah. Thanks, Daniel. Oh, you're from Brazil. You will be blessed. Thank you so much. ZZ, guess what? ZZ Treat! ZZ gets a treat now. This is the best idea I've ever had. They're good for his teeth, too. Thanks, Daniel. I appreciate that. Oh, it was that series of arsons. Okay. I can't remember where that was. But... I wish my... I like the thought of like people gaining power by interpreting dreams because we can just literally make stuff up as they're going. Like, we see. I've had a dream. What this really means is, <laughs> and I'm agitated. <laughs> I need to know what I dreamed. Okay, may you live on forever. Relate the dream. I had a dream, and I'm agitated. <laughs> like, Oh, this cracks me up. To your this has been we fun. Will tell the I'm glad we did this. No Good suggestions. If you don't make the dream known yeah, to well, me, along with the interpretation, up. you'll be dismembered, and your houses Cucum. will be turned to public latrines. But if you do tell me the dream and the interpretation, you'll receive gifts and a reward. Yeah, a great honor. You've agreed to tell me something false and deceitful until the situation changes. Deceitful? Deceitful! Deceitful! There is not a man on earth who can do what the king demands. What the king is asking is difficult. No one... This pretty much actually sums it up. Some old guy in 1914 will trick millions at your dream. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? To this day, we're still interpreting the dream. And at any point in time, it might change a little bit. But you know what? By golly, Daniel was a faithful man. Those fake beings exist. in one Tell this to the king. I know. Except it's a little, a little spicy the gods. up in here. Ariok? Seize them. Kill them! Oh. He doesn't seem very happy. Miracle wheat. Jira. You're in danger. Why? What happened? Being here with, with the wise men angered the king. Everyone's to be executed by dawn. Bring Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah here. I'll try to learn more. Everyone's going to be executed. Yes, Chaldean, Egyptian, Jewish, all the wise men. That? Okay. Nope. Ariok, Althashazar, you shouldn't be here. Why is there such a harsh order from the king? He had a dream. Yeah, that's going to be a... No one can tell him what it is. Well, hopefully it's Flee another one of years before, before that dream gets might survive. Really got the intense music going. This has to be their biggest production to date, though, right? Like, have they ever had anything that's been this... I mean, massive? At least it feels bigger. Oh, guys, I put WD-40 on the microphone thing so it doesn't squeak anymore when I adjust it. Wow. Imagine. Pretty smart. <laughs> That's my ability to pay attention to this movie. <laughs> Hang them without their sins. Let the gods look down on their flesh. And throw their bodies into the great 
Uh, Star Wars nerds. I like it. Without wisdom! What are you doing here? I need to speak with the king. You need to go. Please let me speak with him. My lord, we're not tackling this is that one. The Shazar. O king, interpretations belong to my god Jehovah. He knows your dream and what it means. I love how they just really <laughs> have the the classic um, essence of this was written by by the governing body. <laughs> what did he say? We hold uh, basically we hold a monopoly on interpreting dreams. No one else can do it, but 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 our God can. <laughs> That's exactly what they tell their believers now. It's like nope, we hold the mon monopoly on truth. And you can't learn it unless you give us money and obey our every word. Well, where is your God? Where? I believe that he... He's still laughing at I your Burger King crown. he will reveal it to me. But Please. Once he's done with his good old chuckle, I'm sure he'll be right with you. And he's also busy more. inventing tweezers, because my man, to you got what? some issues with those brows. To reveal the dream to the king. <laughs> How much of the dream has Jehovah revealed to you? Well, nothing yet. <laughs> this is so awkward. This is, this is an but actual insight into a governing body meeting. That he would interpret it. Hey, Sam, uh, uh, how much of new light have you gotten? Well, nothing yet. Oh, well, I guess we should just start making stuff up. Right? Not exactly. Daniel, how do you know this is even going it's to easy. happen? They're standing in the way. Please move. Well, I can't be sure. You'd better be sure. His name is at stake. If he reveals the dream, it proves that he's the true God. If true, that's all the proof you need. When? What can we do to help? Maybe God can say, let there be light on this goddamn movie. Pray. Pray that Jehovah have mercy on us. Sasuke Johnson's gonna, about to pop in out of nowhere, teach us some hidden jutsu. <laughs> oh, Jehovah. Surely you didn't bring us here just to die. What will people say? We told them that you are the God of That was of a bunch heavens, of nerd talk, so, and God no one has any idea what I was secrets. talking about. At least Darth Mygog did. Please. So. That's what it was directed at. Vindicate yourself. Pass it. I don't know what this emoji is, but if you want really cool emojis, you can become a channel member. Whoa. It's $3, and you'll get funny little emotes. I don't know if I... I should probably actually actively promote that. Anyway. A little more engaging, but anyway, we'll do that later. Jira, Jira, Okay, this is actually funny. Now, now we got some good jokes coming through the pipeline. What you have a problem with that? I know. Love the nerd talk. Hey man, I'm I'm all about it. Now once once we get into like the real deep lore, we'll be we'll be talking about like Beyblade and stuff, but we'll save that for later. <laughs> I found a man from the exiles of Judah 
who can make known the interpretation to the king. I know who he is. Can you really make known to me the dream that I saw and its interpretation? God said, let there be light. And by golly, there was. I'm a goddamn prophet. There is a God in the heavens who is a revealer of secrets. With the and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what is to happen. The ominous in the thunder final in the background. <laughs> oh, Lordy. This is your dream. Looks mesmerized. He just gets struck by lightning. <laughs> That's for destroying Jerusalem, bitch! <laughs> you saw an immense image. I don't, were they not supposed to bow down to the king? That I reckon image they did. was standing in front of you. Those artificial lines that they like to draw. You can't you salute the flag, but you can hang one on a kingdom hall. <laughs> after you... Another kingdom you can be part of the United Nations, just kingdom. not part of the United Nations. Then another kingdom, a third one of copper that will rule over the whole earth. As for the fourth kingdom, it will be strong. Wait, do like I remember iron. all of these? The, the Rome. kingdom will be divided. Oh, yeah. As the toes of the feet yes. were partly of iron, Anglo American and partly world power. of clay, so the kingdom will be partly strong. And partly fragile. It makes perfect sense that the, all of this of applies kings, in the 21st century. The God of Heaven will set up. You're not wrong, Godly Beard. This is actually much more engaging. Actually, kind of looks like. And this kingdom will not be passed uh, on to What's the any world called at the end of the last Star Wars movie? Whoa! Whoa! Explosions! And the Great Fall. It will crush and put an end to all these kingdoms. You'll be standing there. Wow. It's like full superhero mode. All the destruction and ashes ar around him and he does like the, the little triangle stance. They've been watching their Marvel, that's for sure. Keep my wife's name. And it alone will stand forever. The dream is true. And its interpretation <laughs> is trustworthy. This was the best acting that that guy's done. <laughs> After he just explains all this, he's like... <laughs> that was that was actually pretty good. Are they at Mordor yet? You just missed Mordor. Um, but they're getting there pretty soon. They just have to finish their quest. And credits. I've I couldn't tell you emotionally amazing JW. I haven't seen it. I don't have to be a window washer anymore. My eyes are open. My God. Everyone bowed up. This guy. Yeah. I'm sure this is exactly how it went down. He killed the other ones and is Quick. bowing on his knees to them. Bring a fine robe. Yes. And a necklace of gold. Yes. That we stole from your people. Burned incense before him. Oh, and some deodorant? <laughs> My man has been stinky for all this time. The Hebrew <laughs> the Hebrew quarters smelled like Comic Con or something. It's like when was the last time y'all showered? <laughs> Truly your God is a God of gods. And a Lord of Kings. And a revealer of secrets. May your God be honored by the honor I give you. You are now ruler over all the province 
Babylon. Yeah, woo! I did it! Oh, King. Can you get, like, crazy? Servants Maybe take your shirt also off worship start, like, the God whirling it around? I want to see like, a really good pop-off. appointed to administer the province. Make the necessary arrangements. You have proven far superior than these so-called wise men. <laughs> yeah, you're about to be on your hands and knees and for a while there, Ace. Their chief prefect. Hey, guy. Yeah, no, uh, the melanin is not around. Did you hear Nebuchadnezzar when he said, your God is a God of gods? And a lord of kings? Sorry, ZZ, but Jehovah I'm contractually Jehovah. obligated Jehovah to give you treats only at specific times now. That's our new relationship. But I can still give you your toy if you want to play with the ball. Watch out. What's going to happen next? Can we go back to Jerusalem? I don't know what happens next, but as long as we stay close to Jehovah, you will always be with us. As long as we have faith in Cue you. Cue some Celine Dion, please. Need some really dramatic music. There's nothing in the stars about kingdoms crushing kingdoms. Of course not. <clears throat> Uh-oh. It's a trick. Zizi is vibing. He's how do you mad chilling. Amaruchi, what, what message from the gods? I have. Everyone say goodnight, karaoke buzz. Hey, thanks for stopping by. It was fun. Maybe you're not in chat anymore, but you know what? At least we had those good vibes out there. And we didn't feel like jerks and not say goodbye to you. Because you said goodbye to us. Don't be that person. Good job, everyone. <laughs> I've examined a sheep's liver. Your future is bright. Stars of Shabaytu, the giant. Community, guys. Going to have your and I'm the head of gold. See, Jehovah that's community. So. That's what, your dream that's what I like. That things. makes me happy. But you spelt the Shazar? He's a Jew. He's a clever Jew, to be sure. But <laughs> he couldn't interpret dreams before he came to Babylon. He first had to be educated here. And ah. given a Babylonian name. The twist in the plot here. A name that honors our great god, Bell. Bell used this young captive to reveal great things. That's true, Rakha. Bell. Miguel Archangel. Not Jehovah, who you defeated in Jerusalem. Thanks for stopping by. We are watching an old Watchtower movie. You're halfway into the Daniel movie, so if you've seen it before, feel free to make funny, witty comments. Uh, uh, I don't want this anymore, please. Uh, no. So the tree is my enemies? Mm, no. Who is it after the seven times pass over? <laughs> then it is you again, a great king. <laughs> you are fool. The funniest thing about this is there... They're making fun of like something that makes no sense. So they're having to come up with something like, oh, <laughs> well, it's you again. And yet you could play uh, David Splane's video like, so what does this other generation mean? Well, it's that generation <laughs> too. It's so freaking similar. Oh my goodness. I just love when watchtower is completely unaware of their hiccups it's so good oh that actually made my cheeks hurt i wonder if i could replay that or well i know i can sorry we're gonna have to suffer again but that really made me laugh well it's it's you again <laughs> this should have been rated pg-13 that's true so the tree is my enemies. That's true, Allison. <laughs> Who is it after the seven times pass over? So the generation is the generation of 1914. Then Who is it now that they're all gone? It is you again, a great king. Well, it's 
Uh, you are fools. <laughs> it's, uh, you're a fool. At last, oh. Belteshazzar, chief of the magic practicing priests. All of the other wise men are unable to make the interpretation Let's known to Let's go, them. Belteshazzar. But you're able to do so. Don't get it. I don't even, like, the connection they make through this Explain story is so wild. Have they talked about uh, the, you dream? the process, Cheryl? They, in one of the... What was I it? saw a tree. I watched a video before the where they're like, oh yeah, we send out letters and then people it's send height. in their own video recordings enormous. and stuff like that. And the tree grew. Oh. Strong. The classic muffled sound. Iron and of copper. Oh, copper, you said. I got this one. Um, hey, guys, it's time for a bathroom break, and my camera battery is flashing red which means it's randomly going to cut out and be gone forever so um you can either pray for me or i can put a new battery in i should probably put a new battery in but i'm gonna go to the bathroom first so you guys can be entertained by zizi he's entertaining he'll do something funny i'm sure if there's a ping pong ball here he won't be able to resist himself. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, guys. I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, goodbye to the 10 people that will leave. I understand, though. Yeah, I get it. Now, I done told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. 
Wally should have played either some elevator music or some kingdom melodies. I probably should have. I thought about turning the music back on, but I didn't. So, here we are. Yeah, you know that moment where you think you only have to pee and then? I'll let you fill in the rest. Okay, here we go. So who's the tree? Oh, I forgot to change the camera battery. God. Sorry, hold on. I think that was really the whole purpose of the break, but uh, it was, you know, useful for multiple reasons. Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually don't think that's necessary. Please, boom, play truly in love. Hello, it's a Jehovah's Witness. JK, hi, Wally. Exclusive. Hi, hello, how are you? <clears throat> you have no idea what you've just joined. It's uh, it's pretty wild. But we have a new camera in the battery, which means we're looking good. Look, actually, J Dub no more. Finally, we have an instance of a answered prayer. So everyone, just say thank you, our Lord and Savior Johnny Bravo. Uh, oh, you hear the birds? Yeah, the uh, the window's open because it's a little, little toasty, and I just like fresh air. So, sorry about that. Oh, no worries. Hey, you're here now. Oh, I forgot to. Whoops. Oh my lord. Chocolate. May the dream apply to those hating you, and its interpretation to your enemies. Oh, my people are saying potato. The tree that you saw. It's you. That grew great and became strong, whose top reached the heavens and was visible to all the earth, which had you beautiful guys do foliage, a, a cooking abundant stream? fruit, I thought that would be pretty and fun. food for all, beneath I could which definitely the, the fields well. would dwell, and on whose branches like do a community the birds post, of the heavens would reside. Tell you all the ingredients you need, and we can do a cook, cooking it is you, Wally stream. O king. And the king saw a watcher, a holy one, coming down from the heavens, who was saying, chop down the tree, and destroy it. Uh, coming down from heaven. Sorry, I didn't. I started coughing. I couldn't finish my sentence. That sound a little awkward. This is rude. But leave the stump with its roots in the ground. With air fryer with recipes. A banding of iron and of copper. And Mine let the dew of the heavens make it wet. And let its portion be with the beasts of the field. Until seven times pass over. <laughs> Dasani, that would be a wild video. This is the Cooking interpretation. With Wally, that's right. Cooking. It is the decree of the Most High. You want me to cause Chris? You, you to cause will be driven hand? away from among men. Sorry, and we all know how the end of the story. So if I'm talking over it and you want me to shut up, I'll just shut and up. You will be given <laughs> vegetation to eat. We just know like he's going to be turned into a madman. And you will become wet with the dew of the heavens. He's going to become and wet. Seven with the times dew of will the pass heavens. over you until you know. I think there was there was someone having the some most fun high riding this. I got to be honest with you. And that he grants it to whomever he wants. But because they said to leave the stump of the tree with its roots, your kingdom will be yours again. Where he came from. After you come to know that the heavens are ruling. I don't eat clown food. Though. Turn away from your sins what is by doing food? what is right. Do clowns eat different food and from your iniquity food? by showing mercy to the poor. It may be that your prosperity will be extended do you want your prosperity prosperity extended that was whoever wrote that whole scene was just having a good old laugh 
Like they just got done watching Office for the first time and learned about well. making a "That's What She Said" joke, no. and they're like ten years late to the party, and like, man, wise that man? would be great. <laughs> Let's no, just have a bunch of "That's What She Said" jokes in here. Look at the facts. Egypt's gods told the Egyptians that they would defeat us, yet you destroyed them. So why should the God of the Jews be given any more credit? Look at what you've done. The gods are with you. You have made Babylon. Oh, if Stephen let cook, that's clown food. I missed that train of thought. I'm sorry. Belteshazzar wants you to I thought there was some hidden jitsu like of, of clown you. food I had never seen before. A strong king means a strong king. And for you to extend your prosperity, stars if at all possible. Now the Lugal star is the brightest star. <laughs> They're still talking stars. about the stars same star. Are reliable. Uh -oh. Unlike the gods of defeated nations. Go back to Jerusalem. Oh, you could if there was anything left of it. You could do that. Has Jehovah revealed anything new? It's been 10 months. Still no sign of this supposed insanity. I trust my God. Yes, as we do when we read the stars. But we still shape the message. Do you guys think that they are aware of like the astronomical evidence as well as the uh, archaeological evidence for their dating being complete BS because I, I imagine they do and on some level they must be writing this with knowledge of that unless unless they didn't write oh I didn't just realize my name was Worldly Wally I think Jake did that I'm not oh I don't even know how to change it oh I can change it here I'm a I'm I'm I'm, I'm a caveman that was the first time I noticed that. There we go. Now we're looking good. But do you guys actually think like they knew what that was about or, or had any notion of it? Do you think they're saying it for a reason or it's just random? Possibly Pimo. Maybe. I... That doesn't that wouldn't surprise me. I bet they could float that past the governing body without it really affecting them. If self abuse on the witness were garbage this. Uh self abuse. Uh I don't know. I'll definitely check that though. That definitely needs to be in there. I don't think they care. Yeah, maybe they just don't care. They have to. I made a video of it. In their own literature, if you add the dates, it adds up to 587. Yeah, I did that too while I was still a witness when I was studying at meetings because there was nothing else to do at meetings. Uh, that was my strategy. Rolf Ferulli is gone. There's no source. I don't know who that is. Shark composer. They know it's not 607. Yeah, I mean, even, even in Crisis of Conscience, like... What does he say in in there? Um, oh boy, why do I think I can actually find this in a reasonable amount of time? I have a fairly sturdy brain though, so I might actually be able to pull it off. Wally and his sturdy brain. It'll take me under a minute. Start the timer now, guys. I will find this in under a minute. Ah, here we go. Um, is this what I was looking for? You. Uh. Carl 
Olaf Johnson. That whole bit. That whole bit. And the dispensation. Okay, maybe I won't find it. Wally, save us. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'm getting there, guys. I thought it was somewhere in here. Maybe this isn't the place. Well, you guys know the quote that I'm... Wally reads a book and sexy people show up. LOL. Huh? Uh, well, okay. I, I failed. I know it's here. He's like talking about Carl Olaf Johnson's findings and everything, but there was that quote that I was looking for specifically where they're like, Wally, you got a crazy people on here advertising? What is that? Oh, hey, that's their back. Sorry. Uh, I thought Godly Beard, you can actually uh, uh, ban people, I think. Just so you know, if someone's acting wild and I don't notice. Oh, wow. Look at all of our viewers leaving because they're clicking on this link. Oh, my God. Well, look at that. 11 people clicked on that link and said, you know what, Wally? We're getting out of this stream and we're going to go see whatever the heck that was. There's... Do, 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 do. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I found it. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but anyway, there was that quote in there. I was, thought I could find it quickly, but maybe not. Visible Christ, all of that stuff. Was it earlier? Anyway, it doesn't much matter, but even like the president, because I, I did it when I was recording a video. Um, what I talked about it and read it. So I just read it like two days ago. But anyway, it's like, I think it was whoever was the president at the time was like, yeah, I don't really know about 1914. Could it be right? Maybe. Do we hope it's right? Yeah. I guess we'll see. I don't know. That link went to the dark web. You were brave enough to click, click on it. People clicked on it, shaking my head. Oh, they absolutely did. I don't know. I don't think there's any uh, people here to watch chat for me, but that's fine. Well, I know Godly Beard can, but I don't think they want to. I don't even know how that happened, but it did. Anyway, let's get ready to rumble. And then the people seriously did the bots recognize horny people here? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's do You this. will be held responsible for the words. And when a wise man speaks lies, well. I spoke only what Jehovah revealed. Have you forgotten what happened when some couldn't interpret the Oh, people are coming back. And Tell us how the link was. And that was a flattering interpretation. <laughs> Eleven fried computers, pretty much. This time, you said he'll go mad. And nothing has happened. <laughs> it Such will a dork. happen. Maybe. Maybe not. Thank you. But your words are against the king. It's treason. And no one can protect you from that. Yeah, I reckon they do know about... Throw away your pillows. <laughs> But this pillow is like, it's ZZ's pillow. It's famous. We can't throw away ZZ's pillow. He would cry little cat tears. And we don't want that. Ten months. That was funny right after that came Nothing on, though. has happened. <laughs> but your words are... 15 you. people immediately left. Still no sign. It's hilarious. It's, 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 it's treason. And no one can protect you from that. We like a good old classic JW soliloquy. I don't get to hear these very often. And, you know, after done having done so many at assemblies and conventions, it feels real good to, to get back in the saddle. Oh, nice. Good job. You have a new operating system. That's cool. They'll help you secure your bank account system, as can I. Um, just send that information my way. Get you all set up. And a big yawn coming. 
can always have Jehovah's words with you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, they would need to at least wash them. Probably just throw them away. Instruct me in your way, O Jehovah. Do not hand me over to my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against I like how the most exciting thing that happened. I actually, that, I had that same person before, and I blocked them Where from the channel. Where would I be but... if I did not have faith? It's funny, like, that's the funniest that thing that's happened in this Jehovah's entire, in the <laughs> this land entire land. movie. <laughs> Please, Someone's test your servants some for nonsense 10 days. Yeah, that's funny. Somehow, you look healthier than the others. Yeah. Continue giving them the diet they've requested. I do not know your God. But you've proven 10 times better than any priest or conjurer I've met. So there's a part two to this crap. You had a dream. They never used to have long. No How did they release it? Did they do it in like one, one go? I can't imagine. He was an astrologist, apparently. Jehovah answered your prayer. Hope in Jehovah. That's the real Be lesson, courageous guys. And strong of heart. Yes, hope in Jehovah. Was that the title of the convention or something? Oh, we're getting that. We're a sacrifice to build. Is this the trailer for part two? It sounds like a Terminator music. Goodness. To the gods. Dun 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 it's the jewel of the world. Look at the Ishtar Gate. The gardens. Oh, yeah, you're fine, Tito. The ziggurat so rude. high. It reaches the gods themselves. Now, the golden window no washer bucket is that. too good. It's odd that only 12 months ago, one of your servants dared to suggest that you go and say, Is this not Babylon oh. the Great? Be back. That I myself Soon. have built for the royal house. Not that unroyal house. Strength, that one was stinky. For the glory of my majesty. To you it is being said, O oh King Nebuchadnezzar, Whoa. the kingdom has gone away from you. Was this an actual moment when God is meant to have spoken from heaven? I can't remember. Is it? Because don't they claim it was only a few times? Or is this not actually God? This is the, come with me if you want to preach. I can't remember, but maybe they're just saying it was an angel, so whatever. And from mankind, you are being driven away. With the beasts oh of the God. field, your dwelling will be, and you will be given vegetation to eat, just like cool. wolves. And seven times will pass over you, until oh man, you two. know it's Jacob that the someone. Most High is ruling oh, the, the kingdom of black mankind, answer. and that maybe he Jacob turned into a smoke to monster too. He wants. If no one's seen Lost, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. But, you know, most of the time people don't know what I'm talking about anyway. Almighty narrator. Does he just, like, lose his marbles all of a sudden? Like in that scene in Hook where the the, the guy that watches the kids is, like, trying to find his marbles? And your wise men have failed consistently. How can you claim Daniel to be a fraud? This was a trick. Daniel conspired against your father. A trick. Then how did he make it happen? <laughs> it does look like a gold plate of trash can. Everything he I know, those true, demon clouds. The man in black isn't happy. My father trusted me. I I really wish they would do more VOs that the governing body did. I just would like that sort of cozy comfort feeling of Stephen Lett talking as if he's God. Oh wait, he does that all the time. Hi, Zizi. Hi. What's up, buddy? Ready? 
<laughs> Tell me, who is this God in the heavens? Jehovah. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Here we are, just getting blasted left and right. Seven times eighteen, fourteen, no seventy-five. No, I give up. Guys, we made it through the whole thing. I mean, not the whole thing, but I don't know if I have the stamina. How long is the second part? If that part was shorter, if it's only like thirty minutes, we can definitely, we can definitely be in it for the long haul. Why not? It's forty-eight minutes. 48 minutes. That's a long time. I don't think I want to watch that. I don't think I want to watch that. We can watch the rest of it next time. I actually way more enjoy doing this than uh, than doing the videos on it. Darth Magog, you're still here. Do you want to play Smash when I stop the stream? I heard about this famous Pikachu. Oh, well, did you guys have fun? Did you enjoy it? Was it a good time? Did you have some popcorn or whatever sort of thing that you're into? I I had a good time. I thought it was very, very fun. Um, streams going forward. I think there's a couple more things that I want to figure out just to like make sure everything is polished. And... I may have to rain check you. I'm still working technically this weekend. There's a bit more free though. Love the vibe. So much fun. Cool. I had a lot of fun too. Um, yeah. So streams going forward, I think are going to be a little bit more not planned out, but I'll definitely have some just like subjects to talk about and just fun things to do. So right now I'm just still in my caveman phase as I continue to stress this. These aren't the real streams. But once once we get things all polished up and good to go, then uh, we'll be a little bit more crisp, clean and to the point. A full basketball game. I'm down. It is the playoffs, but the Jazz weren't on tonight. So unless I misread the schedule. Next time, let's watch The Gods Must Be Crazy. We won't watch that because my mom likes that movie. Celtics won. Oh, really? I'll spend two hours in a weekly Wally stream anytime. Thanks, man. With side commentary, the movie was entertaining. Hey, you guys had the better commentary. My commentary was terrible. But, you know, I do what I can, how I can, when I can. New stream light. I don't know what that means. Do, 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 do. But yeah, uh, I know I kind of like just the sort of chill, relaxing. I don't know. It seems kind of fun. I feel like you could watch a basketball game or even a TV show and have the stream on in the background. It wouldn't be too distracting. But I don't know. I'm figuring it out. We'll see how it goes. We'll learn from the mistakes when you get out of caveman phase and do the real streams. Yes. We will be doing actual real things. It's really funny right now, but the squirrel, if I get out of this chair, uh, the squirrel will will run away. But there's a squirrel sitting right out in front of the window. And ZZ has his back leg sitting on the table and on the windowsill. And they're like looking eye to eye. And it's the cutest thing ever. But alas, if I get up. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. So, oh yeah. Will you do the food streaming? Yeah. I actually want to do like a lot of different stuff and not just always be looking at watchtower things. So I think maybe, I mean, I have a thought, I have maybe a half of a plan, but maybe we, there's enough people that are streaming JW stuff that we don't need more of it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what people want, what people like. I mean, we can always do a little bit of both, but I kind of like just hanging out with everyone. Hey, sorry, Jules. I am about to wrap it up, though. Just talking, making the money for the ZZ Food Fund. Thank you, Darth. ZZ does need food. He's very hungry. He needs treats. But yeah, I, I think, I don't know, doing cooking streams or uh, maybe like interviewing people that 
have never been witnesses. I don't know. Could be a lot of interesting topics and things. So still working it out. But I think this is what our fifth stream, sixth stream, something like that. I don't know. Fifth stream. So still working out all of the details and getting it all sorted. So it should be fun. Thank you guys for supporting it because obviously uh, <laughs> wouldn't be able to do this if no one wanted to come and hang out. So thank you guys as well. We sure didn't get an announcement on Discord. Yeah, I am working on that game streams. You are talking to the right person. I really want to do, I mean, it doesn't, we could do an XJW uh, plays Mario party or whatever. I think that would be super fun. So uh, whatever you guys want to see, uh, check out the Discord. I don't know what the link is, but uh, I'm sure it's out there somewhere picks few topics and have us vote maybe yeah i can just do community posts on the channel and just be like hey what do you guys want uh next week or i'm thinking we probably need to start uh sh like planning out the streams just because getting people and um just like just everything kind of organized it would be it would just be easier to have them planned out for like the next three weeks or something i know like, stuff happens and everything but yeah anyway i'm down for mario party says jules uh yeah go over to or th and uh or just send me a text message but yeah do that i think it would be hilarious just hanging out with our friends which is what streaming should be i think but that's just me personally but with all of that being said I am going to go and have some proper food other than a few bites of salad. Thank you guys so much uh, for hanging out and everything. And I will uh, will see y'all later. Bye.